So as you can see, I'm still traveling uh, here in the uh, Call to Cinema International. I'm still here in Canada doing the, uh, the bunk bed thing for right now. What do you do when you're traveling? You watch a couple of good movies. And Sony recently sent me Insidious Red Door and Sniper Grit. And tonight, we're going to review them. When a dangerous cult kidnaps a member of the team, uh, and a newly minted member of the team, they have to race in there, stop the cult, and get her out. And that is just the beginning. I had not seen the more recent Sniper films. I was more used to the Berenger, Billy Zane era of Sniper, a more a grittier, darker take. This is something that's a lot more in the uh, in the fun aspect of it. The action is good. I love the action in this film. Uh, Chemical Collins, Ryan Robbins, Dennis Haysbert. Uh, Sniper Grit stands for Global Response and Intelligence Team. You can see it right there. Uh, but aside from that, we also have like Luna Fujimoto, who plays, uh, who plays Lady Death. Apparently somebody else played her previously. I can only go by the one that I know. It. I did feel like I was going in like missing a bit. But that being said, I really did enjoy the uh, the way these guys work together. There's a kind of a buddy type of feeling that this one has. Um, you know, like, a, I won't say Lethal Weapon, but maybe Lethal Weapon, maybe Bad Boys, that type of thing. Uh, in the fact that they, that they do have a, uh, they do have the team aesthetic. There we go. Get it done right. And uh, I enjoy this. Now, this is unfortunately only on dvd and digital so you can buy it on dvd if you're a digital person you can get it digitally as well um you know i always grab my physical media uh whenever i can um but i i do want to go back and watch uh some of the other ones the earlier sniper stuff was good but sometimes it just got a bit intense and this i can almost see this as like uh i guess that's the way they're growing because it's dvd maybe a straight to dvd kind of like a series of uh of films Kind of like they did, remember when Robocop did like the prime directives and they did like four movies and it was like the better Robocop sequels as compared to the theater ones? Uh, yeah, so this is this is a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this a lot more than I did. I do wish that there would have been some special features on this. I would love to have seen this have a Blu-ray release because it's a it's a decent film. And um, I had a, a, a lot of fun. This is probably, at the two films I'm going to talk about today, this is one I probably... You know, enjoyed a bit more. I just like the uh, the way that it was done. I would love to see like some features, maybe talking about uh, a catch up thing, like talking about the, the the franchise in whole. I'd like to see like a sniper set uh, eventually put together with uh, with some of the films. That'd be interesting to do. Sony, as always, does a great job on the picture and the audio quality, even on the DVD uh, edition, which is this is what this is. Uh, it has a anamorphic widescreen audio is English in Spanish with a 5.1 Dolby Digital. Subtitles, and this is important, guys. It has English, English for the uh, for the hard of hearing, French and Spanish. So we get like three um, languages here, and I really do appreciate that. The movie only runs at 92 minutes long, which is a perfect like time frame for a film like this. Would I give Sniper Grit a, uh, a recommendation? Really, really, really would. And uh, I'm going to say, uh, I... I do like uh, Lady uh, Lady Death in this, Looney Fujimoto. Uh, I'm a big fan of Ryan Robbins, and I really want to see, that's this guy right here, uh, a lot more of him. He's just such a good actor and uh, extremely versatile, and he's really good in this. And he plays well with uh, with the lead, uh, Chad Michael Collins. Uh, everybody in this one is really good. Dennis Haysbert kind of plays the boss. Um, it's got kind of a, a lighter feel to it, but it's an action film. And uh, I enjoyed it. So there you go. Definitely gets a recommendation. We get the conclusion to Insidious with Insidious. The Red Door, directed 
by Insidious star Patrick Wilson. Now, as this goes for a conclusion, I'm not quite sure I did think the film was interesting overall. I don't think this is as scary as the other Insidious films. Uh, I think probably, you know, they really peaked at one and two. But uh, I did overall enjoy this for what it was. I am a bit disappointed in the fact that this is the last film and there were no special, really, there's two special features, Past, Present, Farther, and a Possessed Director. And they run around 45 minutes long each. Uh, 45, not 45. <laughs> uh, and after the whole franchise is done, we needed more than a four or five minute uh, like summary. Of this uh, of this entire of this entire franchise, that was a bit of a disappointment. I'm hoping I'm, I, my only guess is maybe they're they'll eventually put this on 4K. Here's the other thing that I would have loved. So this is a region A and region C release, by the way. Uh, it's a Blu-ray. It's uh it's very dark. Like the dark. It's it's got like not dark as in like there's a lot of dark scenes in the film. It's uh it, you know it's insidious. So this prime the it, for a uh, for a 4k release as it is though they do a really good job with the audio and the video uh as for what we get here we got a 10.1 uh, high definition uh, 239 aspect ratio with english and uh and french audio uh, and spanish with a 5.1 dts hd and uh english descriptive tracks uh with a 5.1 and of course we get english French, Spanish, and uh, special features. I also have I have the audio only in English, and uh, English just uh, basically uh, kind of a hard of hearing uh, track. Um, I overall did have a uh, a bit of fun with this film. I kind of hope it's not the last though, because I do like the Insidious franchise, and uh, I think Patrick Wilson's probably you know he's getting tired maybe of doing you know he's done a few. Right now, so I can understand him kind of like, you know, just wanting to, to end it off. But, uh, you know, there's been a lot of like, obviously, this universe has been like branched out for things like, you know, the nun and all this type of stuff. Uh, Annabelle. But um, if this is the last Insidious one, I went out on an okay note. I uh, But not a scary note. I mean, it's not a bad film. Uh, don't get me wrong. It's uh, it's definitely a decent watch. But uh, it's it won't keep you up at night. There is a couple like decent scares in here. Uh, throw the the audio definitely helps out when it uh, when it comes to that audio track is uh, is a bit of a banger so that's the, so that's always good. Um, overall, out of the uh, out of the two films, I would say Sniper Grit just rung a bit more for me. Now that being said, there has been a, be a bit of a caveat here. This is ger the first of November, and I've just come off a month of horror films. So may my could my taste have been a bit dulled? After watching so much horror this uh, last month, that I uh, that I'm just used to it, maybe. Uh, but that being said, uh, recommendation wise, I'd say grab Sniper Grit, right at the gate. Uh, this one too, I can definitely recommend if you're a fan of Insidious. I, I just wish this was 4K, and I'm not quite sure if it's 4K available, but I know there is Blu-ray digital, as you can see right there, and this one here, as far as I know, is uh, DVD and digital only. With that being said, it is two fun films from um, from Sony. I want to thank them for because they did send these. These are review copies, and um, I'm actually kind of looking forward to watching these again down the road. I kind of want to rewatch the entire Insidious franchise, and then like you know the Insidious films himself, and then just see where it ranks. Maybe I'll do a Insidious ranking next Halloween. There you go. That's an idea. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time right here in the Call of Cinema. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. You know. Definitely share the videos. Let people know, um, you know that you're that you're watching these. It helps out the channel, and it means that we can do more uh, Sony review corners, which I really enjoy doing. And uh, I like to thank uh, Sony, and I like to thank my uh, viewers, because with you guys watching this, uh, especially as I um, as I travel, then um, how would I even be here, right? See you soon next time in the Cosmo Cinema.